The word Rabb is really important for several reasons. One of them is, it's the first name Allah used to introduce Himself to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is also the first name Allah used for Himself before He even used Allah when He introduced Himself to Musa Alayhi Salaam. When Allah introduced Himself to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, Iqra bismi Rabbik, Rabb. The word Allah did not occur in the passage. Rabb did. Musa a.s. goes up on the mountain. Ya Musa, inni ana rabbuk fakhla'na alayk. Inna ka bil wadil muqaddasi tuwa. Wa ana akhtartuka fastami' li ma yuha innani ana Allah. Allah came later. Rabb came first. Rabb. So the word Rabb is the introduction Allah wants us to have. Even in the Fatiha, after Allah tells us about Himself as Allah, the first thing He wants us to know of all His names and attributes is what? Alhamdulillahi. Rabb. And actually I told you, this sequence of the Qur'an is remarkable. Allah said, Allah mentioned him, his left al jalala first, Allah. Then he said, Rabbul Alameen. Look at the end of Qur'an. Surah Al-Ikhlas is Allah. Qul huwa Allah. Allah. And then two surahs about Rabb. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbil falaq, Rabbil nas. Just like Fatiha, the first ayah is what? Allah first, Rabb second. Alhamdulillahi, Rabbil Alameen. So you have Surah Al-Ikhlas about Allah, and the word Allah does not occur in falaq or in nas, but the word Rabb does. So there's the same progression that is